Welcome! In this video, I will look at two DAX expressions relating to the rounding of figures, being ceiling and floor, which can be used in Power BI. I will start with ceiling, and the first thing I will do is go to Microsoft's documents relating to ceiling. If we look at the description, it says that ceiling rounds a number up to the nearest integer or to the nearest multiple of significance. The syntax is ceiling, then a number, then significance. Let's have a look at what these terms mean. So number is the number you want to round or a reference to a column that contains numbers. And significance is the multiple of significance to which you want to round. For example, to round to the nearest integer, we would type 1 into the significance section. The value returned is a number rounded as specified in your parameters. Let's go to Power BI. In Power BI, I have set up a table and in the table I have made up some figures and called one column location and the other temperature. For each place, the figures always range from the same digits positive to the same digits negative. To aid with this video, I have created a separate measure called temperature. This was my original data where I've got the location and the temp column. So here in this measure temperature, all I've done is take the max of the temperature figure. That results in this temperature column here being created. OK, back to ceiling. I have set up a measure called ceiling. And into ceiling, I have put the temperature measure, which goes into our number section of our code. And then in the significance section, I've put the figure 1. As I would like to round up to the nearest whole number. Let's see what happens when I put my ceiling measure into my table. It looks good because remember with ceiling we are rounding up. So for place 1, 10.258 has been rounded up to 11 and negative 10.258 has been rounded up to negative 10. Let's now look at a second example involving ceiling. I have created a new measure and called it ceiling 0.5 and the only difference between this measure and my previous one is I have changed the significance section from 1 to 0 0.5. That means I want to round up to the nearest 0.5 figure. So if I now put that measure into my table, we can see that for place 1, 10.258 has rounded up to 10.5 and for minus 10.258, it's rounded up to minus 10. Let's just have a look at a few other places. So for place 2, it was 20.5 exactly. So when we round up to the nearest 0.5, it remains at 20.5 and the same with the negative 20.5, it remains at negative 20.5. But if we now look at place 3, you can see that previously it was 9.51, so rounding up to the nearest 0.5 brings us to 10. And for negative 9.51, rounding up takes us to negative 9.50. To summarise, for ceiling, we are always rounding the figures up to the ceiling. And the ceiling is dependent upon the figure in the significance part of the code. To round up to a whole number, put in 1. To round to another multiple, such as the nearest 0 0.5, then place that figure in the significance section. So after going up to the ceiling, we will look now at going to the floor. 
returning to Microsoft Documents to look at floor. Floor rounds a number down toward zero. And that's quite important to note as we go forward with our examples. And it rounds to the nearest multiple of significance. So its syntax is floor, then a number, then significance. Let's have a look at the parameters. Number is the numeric value you want to round. And significance is the multiple to which you want to round. It is really important to note the following. The arguments number and significance must either both be positive or both be negative. And it returns a decimal number. Going back to Power BI, the first thing to note is that I have positive and negative figures in my temperature column. For floor to work correctly, I need to set up an if statement in my measure. Here I have set up a floor measure and it contains an if statement. It says if and then my temperature is greater than or equal to zero. Then for floor, take the temperature and round it down to the nearest whole number. But if the temperature is less than zero, then we go to this section and we say floor temperature minus one. I need to put in a negative figure. So note, I now have both the figures and the significance with the same sign. In the first floor, both figures are positive, And in the second floor, both figures are negative. So if I now put that measure into my table, you can see that for place one, for floor, it rounds 10.258 down to 10. And for negative 10.258, it rounds it to negative 10 because it's rounding towards zero. Now, let's have a quick look at what would have happened if I hadn't created the if statement. I have set up a separate measure called floor no if and into it I've just put the floor, then the temperature in the number section and then one in the significance section. If I now pull this measure into my table, Power BI will show figures but if you look at place one for 10.258 it does round down to 10 but for negative 10.258, it rounds down to minus 11, which is incorrect because with floor, we are always rounding towards zero. So be careful. Just because a figure renders, it doesn't mean it's correct. That's why I am a big believer in building sense checks into work. So let's remove that floor no if column. And let's see what happens when I change the significance figure from 1 to 0 0.5. I have a measure called floor.5. And the only change I've made to this if statement is here in the first floor section, I've changed 1 to 0 0.5. And in the second floor, I've changed it to minus 0 0.5. Let's add this measure to the table. For place one, 10.258 rounds down to 10. And for place one minus 10.258, it rounds to negative 10. Again, rounding towards zero. Let's look at a few more examples. For place two, 20.5. For floor 0.5, the answer is still 20.5. There's no change to the figure. And for negative 20.5, again, there is no change to the figure because place two contains a figure which is a multiple 
of 0.5. But if we look at place 3, where we have 9.51, when we round it to the nearest multiple of 0.5, we end up with 9.5 because we are rounding down towards 0. And for negative 9.51, we end up with the result of minus 9.5 because we are rounding the negative figure towards zero. In summary, for floor, we are rounding towards zero. The floor is dependent upon the number in the significance section of the code. Both the number and the significance signs should match. They should both be positive or both be negative. There are other DAX expressions which you can use when rounding figures. For example, int, trunk, round, m round, round up and round down to name a few and I will cover these DAX expressions in separate videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you would like to hear more from me, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.